Come on. It's locked from the inside, but got jostled pretty hard. Barely hanging on the hinges. This man is dying! Help me! What's going on? The dressings, bandages, where did I put them? Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. What? Oh, but he breathed still a moment ago. Mm-hmm. Breathed his last then. Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. Gods. What happened here exactly? I... I was rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him, dress his wounds. Then you appeared. Pretty admirable stopping to help a stranger. Truthfully? When I saw him, I considered it might be an ambush. The thought entered my mind, I near decided to crack the whip. But to abandon a man in need? It's simply not the decent thing to do. Decent enough in many other places, believe me. Before you go on, clean your hands thoroughly and burn your shirt. Might also want to rub some time on your body to be sure. The smell of blood might attract ghouls otherwise. Who? Who might you be, precisely? A witcher. Oh. Uh, 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 do, do, do you expect some beast might have killed him? See what we have here. Legs broken, but cause of death's the wound. Small but deep, edges unfrayed. Either a thrust weapon or a thick claw. Maybe a wyvern's. Tough to say, and... Mmm. Breastplate's unusual. Dented. And it's got a patina. An antiquity, I believe. I deal in these things, so... Uh, what's puzzling is... Why did he don it? Not likely to learn that from him. Might even know where he came from. Got work to do, so... So long. Wait, I will come with you. Gotta be kidding. This isn't a garden romp. Whatever killed him's damn dangerous and... and... And it might still prowl the area, so if it's all the same, I'd prefer to accompany you. Hmm, so be it. But stay close, keep it down, and don't touch a thing. Strange armor. Wounds unusual, too. What's going on here? Thou art my defender and protector. Thou bringest good news. 
Damn it. Good gods! Servant, stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. Some post-mortem. I cannot believe this is the work of a man. It was a monster, to be sure. Torso punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. Silver tableware. Elven engravings. What the hell's this? Setting for a banquet? It seems so. What's your suspicion? Did none survive? Gods! Massacred. One mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented. Swords ceremonial. And Shea handiwork clearly. Ceremonial bowls. For little sacrifices. Of what? Please, do not say humans. Ceremonial bowls. For little sacrifices. Of what? Please, do not say humans. How did he come by it? We've so few non-humans in Tucson. Fled, then dropped to the ground to douse the flames. Didn't manage. Burnt smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. It scorched, wriggled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. Perhaps there's no one inside after. I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. <clears throat> Open up. We mean you no harm. Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. Who are you, exactly? D Durant, Faucher, Plamonton, de Safaran, Lord of these lands, and Chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tucson. We meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin Homage. But something like this... Why, it's a first. You mentioned them. Who do you mean? Those... I, I don't know what they were. Spirits. It all occurred of a sudden. We were staging a scene. The, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. Then felt my own robes were in flames. I broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here and it shut and locked the door behind me. They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but, but in the end, it, uh, it could come. Hmm. So while reenacting a scene from the past, somehow, unintentionally, you summoned a specter. 
A Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Best thing? You gotta do it again, of course. Are you mad? Would you have this thing kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job, summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elfin king. You will need at least three individuals. You know what I'm gonna ask for. Need your help. But I'll understand if you turn me down. No objections? Good. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. I will stand, or rather, sit in for King Ludovic upon the Elfin Throne, while you, Witcher, will play the Enche ruler, who we must don the costumes. All must be just right. The Vethef, the Elfin King, hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. Laid at Lutovic's feet, a loaf of binnen, an elf and bread, thus granting humans rule over seat yielding lands. The Petha filled the ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. Gwinoet. The sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from him. Then Tibetha filled the ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. Gwinoet, the sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from him. Long last, the elfin king grasped his sword and shield thus symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. in his pride, drew his blade, and dropped to his knees, thus acknowledging his final defeat. Lutovic then spake. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to... Impossible! God's mother!
the sculptures. They came alive. By what witchcraft? Dunno. Specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them? Not so much. I... I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethov. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. This Defethov was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Tefethev had planned Lutefek's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such, columns activated with words said in homage, columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical treachery embodied elves. Pshit. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this your reward. Farewell. Faster.
Move it. You in a hurry? That's it, Roach. You'll frighten me, kiddies. <laughs> Please, don't bother me. I'm busy. Tended to Belgard's problems. Vineyard should be in as good a shape as ever. Splendid. And thus, officially, by the power vested in me, I grant you title to the Belgard Vineyard, and trust that you shall make good use of its grounds and resources. Excellent. Ah, oh, I can already smell the grapes ripening into sun. We shan't forget what you did for us. Here, your pay. But that's not all. You must come back and see us shortly. We've a surprise in store for you. I'll do that. Farewell. <laughs>